my name is Megan and welcome to another book review. This week I am going to be talking about Tidal by Amanda Hawking. It is the third book in the Water Song series and I want to say right now I like this book much much more than the second one. Like I said I felt like the second one was a lot of filler. My own personal opinion but this one I felt had more substance I guess. This book is 342 pages. We switch characters a lot. We have switching between Harper, Daniel, Gemma, which I found out I'm, I was pronouncing Gemma's name wrong. It's really Gemma, I guess, and not Gemma. So if I slip up and call her Gemma instead of Gemma, yeah, old habits die hard. I've been calling her Gemma. I've been calling her Gemma for so long that now it's like. I slip back into the old habit. So yes. Penn and Thea have a few points of view in here too. Gemma has made a deal with the sirens. You know, give me some time to try and figure out to break the curse without any of us dying. Don't kill anyone. And yeah. <clears throat> so far they've been keeping, kept true to their word. Lexi is getting really impatient because she doesn't like this small like little hick town. So she wants just to kill Gemma and get out. Penn wants to get out too, but she wants to stay because she's interested in why Daniel... Daniel can resist the siren song. So, they want to know why. So, Gemma quit the swim team. She felt it wasn't fair for her to, like, use these new abilities of her to, like, do super well. She's now taking part in this little play production her town puts on. Thea is joining in because she loves the theater. Gemma and Thea become semi-friends. They, they got along more in the last book, too, but they have a closer bond now, I guess. What I really liked in this is we get some flashbacks of the Siren's past. So that I found really interesting, finding more about the Sirens themselves and their history. So I thought that was good. I definitely want to see more of that later on. I feel it just gives them more depth. So... Another thing, a little recap thing. Gemma broke up with Alex. She used the siren song to make him break up with her and hate her. Or more accurately, not love her anymore. So that kind of has a negative effect in him in this book. He doesn't remember why he broke up with her. He doesn't know that he was under the siren song controlled. And he basically loses interest in everything that he has loved before. He's, he's really angry and bitter, and it's like, I feel so bad for him. Like, I was never big in him and Gemma's romance. I felt it was really flat and didn't really keep my interest. So I wasn't really happy or sad when they broke up. I was just kind of like, meh. But I, I did feel pity for him in this one. I felt bad for him. In this book, we find out Penn is looking for a new replacement for... When they eventually killed Gemma. Trying, we're trying to figure out how to break the curse of the sirens. Gemma is trying so hard. And I do feel bad for her there. And poor Daniel. He's getting like stalked and harassed by Penn. And there's just a lot going on in this book. We find out how to kill a siren in this book. Which I found really cool. I'm not going to say which siren gets killed. In this book, I did not like Lexi as much. In the first one, I liked her a lot. I figured she was the most human of the sirens. Lexi is a replacement for another siren. I can't remember which off the top of my head, but she was human most recently. I thought I felt that in the first one. can't remember if I mentioned this in my last review, but Lexi kind of started to like go downhill for me in the last one. In this one, I hated Lexi more than Penn. And I didn't think that would happen, because I really did not like Penn. But now I like Penn more than Lexi. Yeah, just all sorts of stuff happens in this book. And it kept my attention a lot. And I, like I said before, I definitely like this one more than the second one, Lullaby. So, I definitely really want to keep reading this series. I actually think I have book two in my backpack here from the library. So yeah, I'm pretty much going to start reading that right when this review is over. That's really all I'll say without 
giving too many spoilers away. So, yes. That is it for this week's book review. I'll see you guys next week. And for anyone who has future recommendations for me, let me know. See you guys.